Hello everybody and welcome to part two of this update for my goals for 2017 for the products of makeup and beauty in general that I want to use up throughout the year that's going on right now. So it's been about seven months as I said in my previous video since the last update where I showed you what I wanted to use up. I have made some changes when it comes to nail polishes which we will dive into right now but so far I have only been able to finish two of them that I put on my list and the first one was from an unknown brand in the shade copper. Uh, so that one was the first to go and then the other one was in the sh uh, from Depend in the shade 429 which was kind of a green, moss green shade with a little bit of shimmer in it. So I have a bunch of them left and as you can see here I have actually added some new ones that were not originally on the list. I had nine in the beginning but I just felt like they were kind of incomplete and in the summer I did want some shades that made me a little bit more happy than what these were so I decided to add some new ones in and I have also a few on the other side there so I'm gonna show you just which ones they are. So most of these are in my project polish as we speak but I'm gonna show you them a little bit quickly anyhow. So the first one here is Nordic Cap and it's just a grey nail polish. This is what that one looks like. Um, as you can see here, um, it's not one of my favorites. It's already really lumpy and I'm about halfway through with this one. So I cannot wait for this one to be over and done with. The next one in line that isn't finished is my Yves Rocher number 14 Rose Givre. This is also currently in my project polish. This is just a mini one for 3 milliliters. It has a really weird finish kind of sandpaper feeling to it when it's finished. But yeah that's what that one looks like right now. Uh, I have still in my project as well uh, the Topshop nail polish in the shade 101 Daydream and this is what that one looks like. I have recently added this one into my project because it's summer and I feel like the shade is quite appropriate. Next one in line is from Essie. This one is in the shade Too Too Hot. This is also something that I have just added into my nail polish. I'm about halfway through with this one. I have yet to use it on my nails. I have uh, kind of inherited this one from a sister and um, it kind of blew up in an airplane. This is why it's so messy. But I do want to use up what's left of it and get rid of it from my collection. Uh, next one in line is for She Bunny in the shade 028, which is kind of this really royal blue shade. Um, I love the shade. I hate the fact that it stains my nails, so I haven't been using this one too much either, but I'm doing my best. It's currently in my project polish. I have the H&M Dark Red. I have yet to start use this one. This one is just a true red, if you would ask me. I don't know why it's called Dark Red. But this is what it looks like. I have not used it once yet. Another shade that I haven't used once but I'm planning on adding it in when the fall comes. This is from H&M in the shade Metallic Blue. And as you can see it's kind of a dark blue shade with a bunch of glitters in it. You have some purples, you have some pinks, you have some silver, you have some turquoise. And I'm pretty sure this will end up looking just plain black on my nails. So yeah, but this is what that one looks like. And then for the ones that I added in, I added in that you haven't seen last time uh, from H&M Silver Glitter. This is what that one looks like. So it's just a bunch of silver and golden glitter in a, in a what used to be a clear nail polish. Now it's mostly pink because I have used it over other nail polishes. I added this one in because I do want to get rid of it and use it up. And I also thought that a good way to use it up would be to use it as a topper so I don't get bored with all the other shades. So that's why I have added in that one. And on the other side here, you might be able to see I have added in three more. And the first one here is from Depend in the shade 031 White. This is what that one looks like. So I decided to add this one in because I just wanted to use it up and white is really beautiful throughout the summer and I just wanted to use it up so 
that's that one also it's a really good base for some of the darker shades uh, next one in line is from Depend in the shade 83, which is orange, and this is what that one looks like. This one is pretty old, as you can see on the bottom here, it's kind of turning white, so this is the reason why I wanted to use it up. Also, I find that this would be a good both summer and fall shade, so I should not be having too much trouble with using this one and the last one here is the one that I have on my nails right now and this one is from Depend in the shade 435 which is kind of a turquoise shade this is what that one looks like it is really beautiful one coat is enough to have full coverage and that's also what makes it last a long time but I really like this shade for summer I love it with my tan so I actually do like this a lot and trying to use it up and the last thing that's on my list are my perfumes as if you can see here and the first one here I have finished one which is the Elizabeth Arden green tea that one I used to use as a room spray because it was really not my shade at all but the first one here in line is the vertigo prestige unique floor and this is what that one looks like so it's a large bottle 100 milliliters or 3.5 4 fluid ounces and I have quite a lot of it left a little bit Under half of it still left and it's kind of going bad. The packaging is all broken As you can see so it's about time for me to use this one up Next one in line is Jean-Paul Gaultier Classic X collection and this is what that one looks like so it's a pretty bottle, but this perfume smells like gasoline to me. It's really, really strong and it just smells like a gas station. It's not my scent. I use it mostly throughout winter. I try to tolerate it, but mostly I'm just trying to use it up right now. I know it's been really expensive. It's a gift that I got from my ex boyfriend and I just want to use it up because I know it's pricey but it's really not my scent and this will definitely not be repurchased. Next one in line is Dior Miss Dior and it's a little tiny one that I have actually been using a lot on my vacation so it's not a lot left in it at all it's really really close to being finished completely so I'm gonna be glad when this one is over it's not my type of scent it's really strong really floral not my type at all next one in line is Dior forever and ever I haven't touched this one since I made the intro video I have been focusing on the bigger ones so this one is still where it's used to be and this is also just a little mini one I think it's also like 10 or something milliliters maybe 20 I don't know yeah and the last one in line is from Yves Rocher Moment de Bonheur or whatever and this is what that one looks like. It's just a little mini one as well. I don't know how much it's in it, but maybe 20 milliliters or something. I don't know. So this one is also unused completely since the last time that I have made an intro video. So yeah, those were all of my items and this was the end of part two. Thank you so much for watching. Do give this video a thumbs up and make sure to watch part one if you haven't done that. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.